Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we proceed with the, our uh, topic, uh, making work easier, of which I said it is the last topic. Uh, so we had covered some part of it, uh, and we want to proceed from where we had left last time. Uh, remember, we said that uh, categories of machines, uh, we had different categories of machines, where we had the levers, the wedge, the inclined plane, and the single fixed pulley. So the levers you covered in standard 7, uh, here in standard 8, uh, I said we will have to deal with the inclined planes and also pulleys. So to start with, uh, what are inclined planes, as I have discussed yesterday, uh, these uh, are type of a machine which is also known as slopes. The inclined plane are also known as slopes and they include the following. When you talk of the inclined plane, uh, a first example of inclined plane is a ladder. Uh, there is a machine uh, that is used to access the higher points known as the ladder. We have the staircase. We have the staircase which is in the same group as, as the escalator or and also the ramp uh, which is under the uh, same group as staircase and then we have the road winding up a hill so if you have a road winding up the hill is also another type of inclined plane and lastly we have the screw so the screw and the screwdriver uh, is also another type of inclined plane so we'll have to discuss about the the ladder, the staircase, the road winding up a hill, and also the screw. Those are the four types of England plane. Now, when we talk of the England plane, how do they make work easier? Because we, as we categorize the types of machines, the levers, the England planes, the wedges, and also the pulley system, uh, we say that these are um, simple machines uh, that are used to make work easier. Now, uh, the four types of England plane, how do they make work easier? If you are asked how does the inclined plane make work easier, uh, you have to explain it like this. You say inclined planes make work easier by increasing the effort distance. So you find that uh, it is having the effort. So this effort, when you increase the effort distance, then you make work more easier. But when you reduce the distance, uh, effort distance, you find that uh, the work being done uh, becomes uh, more difficult. Now, uh, there is an experiment here of which we will have to describe on how uh, inclined planes work. Now, this is an experiment, uh, but before we come to the picture here, let us see some of the materials that are required for you to perform this experiment. Uh, some of the materials needed are two wooden blocks, two pieces of flat bars, two stones, a spring balance and a table. These are the materials needed for you to perform this experiment and it will have to show you on how inclined plane works. Now, uh, this material, how are you going to arrange them? Uh, we have our table here. Then there are two blocks of wood. We have one block which is longer than the other one. So you find that uh, we have experiment on the activity A here and we also have activity B. Now you find that activity A is having the wooden block which is supporting this uh, plate of bar uh, is taller than as you compare to this block. Block B is shorter. So you find that uh, where we are having block B uh, the slope is gentle and where we are having the steep, the longer, the longer block uh, the slope is steep. You find that here the slope is steep and here is the slope is gentle. Now, a procedure. Which procedure are you going to follow as you perform the experiment? We have our stones. You make sure that these stones are of the same weight. If you say, for example, this is one kilogram, uh, this should also be one kilogram. They are of the same size. Uh, the flat bar are also of the same size and length. But now the difference is only the wooden block. We find that one wooden block is longer and another one is shorter. So that you are having this one forming a gentle slope and 
the first one forming the steep slope. Now, what are the procedures? Uh, make sure that you have a string. So this string or wire will, you, will be used to tie on the stone. So you tie the stone with a string, then connect the string to the spring balance. The spring balance will have to measure the effort that is used to pull the stones. So on the activity B also, you tie the stone with the string along the flat bar, then you connect the string to the spring palant here. So you will have to pull. This is a human arm which is pulling the, uh, the stone, but the string is connected to the spring palant on the two activities. So as you start pulling, you will have to read here on the spring balance. Uh, which effort is used here on a steep slope and w what effort is used here on the steep on the gentle slope so you will find that after you will have performed this experiment uh, you find that these are the observation what you are going to observe slope a is more steeper as compared to slope b this slope a because the wooden block is raised you find that this one is very steep as compared to slope b and you find that slope b is more gentle it is more gentle as so it is having the longer effort so when it is gentle the effort will be longer as we compared to when it is steep so the stone is pulled for a, a, a long distance on a slope b so on slope B you find that the stone is pulled on the long distance. I said the distance from where the stone is up to the end is known as effort distance. So when the, when the slope is steep you find that it is having a longer effort distance. So the stone is pulled longer distance as compared to uh, activity A. So less effort is used to pull the stone on slope B. When you compare the effort after recording on the spring balance, you find that uh, the effort used on the activity B is less. Although the distance is longer, but now the effort is less because when the slope is gentle, you find that the effort used is less because now the effort distance is longer. But when you find that the effort distance is shorter, so it means that the slope is steep, you find that the effort used uh, to pull this stone vertically that along the flat bar is more. Now that is an experiment to show that when the effort distance is longer, the effort used will be less. But when the effort distance is short, you find that the effort used is more. That is a, an activity uh, to show that effort distance, when you increase the effort distance, the effort used is less. Now, uh, you will allow me to move to the uh, second uh, uh, the first type of inclined plane. What is the first type of inclined plane? Uh, we said that uh, the screw. Uh, the first one we will have to discuss about the screw. Okay, uh, that one was only an experiment about uh, how inclined plane work. Now, what is a screw? Uh, the screw I will have to draw it here, the screw is looks like that. That is the screw. Okay, that one is now what we call the screw. Now. I will not have to name it, but I will explain on how it works. You find that the pattern around the screw is called the threads. The pattern, the pattern. Around the screw is, is known as, as threads. The pattern along the screw. Uh, you are seeing this pattern. When you are now tightening the screw uh, somewhere to fix uh, maybe any 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 wooden block or metallic, you find that those patterns are the ones that fit uh, 
the screw tightly. So these patterns are known as uh, the threads. Now, the space between threads is known as the pitch. The space between the threads are known as as the pitch. Uh, the space between the threads. We say this pattern are known as the threads. Now you find that between the first and the second thread there is a space in between there and is what we call uh, the pitch. So uh, the space between the threads is known as the pitch and the threads of a screw represent effort distance. The threads threads of a screw represents represents the effort distance effort distance the threads of a screw now that is what we call the effort distance uh, the vertical height in a screw is the load distance. The vertical height vertical height of a screw is the load. You find that we have the effort distance and also we have the load distance on the screw as we will have to explain. The more the threads in a screw, the more the effort distance. The more the threads, more the threads, the more the effort. Okay, now that is the first type of our England plane, the machine known as the screw. Uh, the screw, we said that the pattern around the screw is known as the threads. So those patterns along the screw are what we call the threads, and the space between the threads are what we call uh, the pitch. Now, you find that the threads of a screw represent the effort distance. These threads are the effort distance. So when they are more, when the screw has more threads, then you find that uh, the effort distance is longer. But if the threads are few, you find that uh, the effort distance is shorter. Now, the more the threads, means that now the effort distance is longer and less effort will be used uh, when it is working. Now, the vertical height of the screw, the vertical height of the screw uh, represents the load distance. So you find that you might have one screw uh, having uh, 20 centimeters long and another one uh, being uh, 40 centimeters long. So you find that uh, the load distance uh, represe is represented by the length of this, uh, the vertical length of the screw. Uh, now the more the threads of uh, the more the threads in a screw, the more the effort the distance. So if a screw has more threads, then you find that the effort the distance will be longer. And I will say it when the effort the distance is longer, then that is how the England plane works efficiently. So when you have more threads, now the machine can work efficiently. That is, the effort used uh, will be uh, less as compared to when the threads are few. Now, that one was a screw. And then number two, I will have to discuss about the second type of uh, England plane, which is a ladder. Uh, number two, we have a ladder. is a type of England plan 
used to access higher surfaces. Uh, you find that uh, a ladder is a type of an inclined plane uh, used to access higher surfaces. The ladder is an inclined plane at an angle on the wall is an inclined plane at an angle on the wall. So if you want to reach the top of the house, for example the roof, uh, you will have to use a ladder. And the longer the ladder, the longer the effort distance. But the, lo the shorter the ladder, uh, the shorter the effort distance, and you find that it cannot be efficient when the ladder is shorter. Uh, the longer the ladder, the more the effort distance. The longer the ladder the longer the effort uh, so you find that a uh, ladder can be represented by this this one can be a ladder uh, this one is our our vertical wall this is the wall and this one is the ladder so you find that the load distance is the vertical wall but the ladder becomes the effort distance so when you use a longer ladder for example we can have another wall like that and you find that uh, this ladder is more vertical you find that is more uh, vertical you find that this one is longer because it is chandel as placed on the top of the wall but this one is totally vertical uh, so you find that the effort distance is shorter as compared to this one because this ladder is longer as compared to the second so the longer the ladder uh, the longer the effort distance and now you find that work is done very well when you are using a longer ladder to access the higher points so uh, that is uh, the second type of our uh, inclined planes. Now, uh, there is also the third of which we will have to explain. We have the third one, uh, which is now the staircase. The staircase. Staircase, escalator, or the ramp. Staircase, comma, escalator, and the ramp. I find that the three uh, serves uh, almost the same purpose. Uh, a staircase is made up of series of fists. A staircase is made up of fixed is made up of a uh, fixed steps series made up of fixed series of steps from one floor to another from one floor to another. So a staircase, if you have gone to um, storehouses, uh, a storehouse, uh, moving from one floor to another to the that as you ascend, you find that there are those uh, fixed series of steps. As you climb up in storehouses, uh, you find that no, those uh, steps, fixed steps, are what we call the staircase. You find that sometimes they look like that as you move up. So you step from the first one to the second as you move uh, to the top uh, roof. 
those are the staircase. What uh, is a ramp now? Uh, a ramp. A ramp. A ramp is a. Uh, is an England plan used to move to higher places. Okay, uh, this is the same as a staircase, but the uh, the the different is uh, a staircase. These are fixed series, fixed series of steps. But here, for example, if you have a person uh, with a limb who cannot move, uh, maybe is using a, a bicycle to move up to uh, to the top floor. You find that the bicycle cannot move on the series of uh, st uh, steps. So this one is a flat. Uh, a flat for example it might be like that so somebody wants to reach that flow here and this one is the base so you can move at this one is a flat a flat a place where you can maybe push the bicycle or people can as well move to the ramp but it is they are not steps the same like this one they are also used to access uh, higher places that is the ramp now finally we have the escalator 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 is also an England plan type of England plan uh, type of With also fixed steps used to reach used to reach higher surfaces. Now escalator, uh, there is no big difference between an escalator and a staircase. So you find that the fixed uh, series on a staircase this one are just closer fixed they are fixed but very closer almost looking like a ladder but they are fixed inside the store houses so escalator a ramp and a staircase uh, serves the same purpose and they are almost the same so they are the that type of inclined plane as i will have to summarize with a road winding up a hill uh, next lesson uh, so that is the end of our lesson today as we will proceed next time thank you very much